Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Yo, today we're gonna do a long video of Darman. As you guys can tell, I have not watched Darman in forever. So first one we're gonna watch that I can do longer is Mom pays for tables disabled son to have friends. This I never watched this this might be sad, I don't know. Left to record it. Like every other video does. I mean. Hey Sarah, you wanna to come to my birthday party tomorrow morning? Uh, is it Spider-Man Steve? Yeah, you wanna to come too? Ow! <laughs> gotcha, sucker! That hurts, Jeremy. Stop being a baby. It was just a little rubber band. What are these? Are you having a birthday party? Yeah, you wanna come? You think I want to go to your birthday party? Yeah, right. I wouldn't be caught dead. Should I have it back then? Why? It's not like anyone's gonna go, except for losers. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't mean to make you feel sad. If you really want it back, here you go, Georgie. Sorry, my class. Okay, everyone open your books and um, we'll get started. Sorry, Georgie, I actually can't come today. Yeah, me too. Bruno. Hey, honey, can you hear me the tape over there, please? Thank you. All righty. What do you think? No. What's wrong? Is there something you don't like? Talk to me, honey. What's going on in that brilliant mind of yours? What if people don't come this year? Oh, Georgie. Don't worry, they'll come. You handed out all the invitations in class, right? Then stop stressing. And regardless if it's one kid or a hundred, we are going to still have lots of fun. So get excited. Can I see my experiment cake? No, because then you're just going to want to eat it. You can't do that until everyone comes. So go get ready first, okay? Because... It's almost 10 o'clock, and people are going to start arriving soon. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't understand. People should be here by now. <clears throat> we did put 10 a.m. on the invitations, right? Oh, my goodness. You know what? I made a mistake on the invitations. I put 12 p.m. instead of 10 a.m. That's why no one's here yet. Oh, silly mom. No, you did it. Nobody won't be my friend. What? No. Georgie, that's not true. Lots of people want to be your friend. Then how come nobody comes to my parties? I always come to your parties, right? As they say, sometimes the only friend you need is the person who's been by your side all along. I know. I will sing you happy birthday, and that'll make you feel better. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Georgie. Georgie, why aren't you smiling in the video? Can you smile for the video, honey? I'm going to my room. No, don't say that, Georgie. We can still celebrate. Some mail came in for you. Thank you. How was your weekend? Mm, not great. No one showed up to Georgie's birthday party. Not one kid. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I remember when no one came to Katrina's birthday. She was devastated. At one point, I actually thought about paying people just to come. You can do that? Oh, it wasn't a serious thought. 
but I suppose you could if you really wanted to. Anyways, hang in there. Things will get better. See you at the party. Hey Harper, did you hear about my birthday party? It's at the arcade after school. Oh. Thanks, Jamie. <sighs> Yo, Jordan, did you hear about my birthday party? It's Godzilla themed. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. That's because you're not invited, loser. <sighs> you know, Godzilla's way cooler than Spider Man, right? He would eat Spider Man alive. He would have, because Spider Man can use his web to cover Godzilla's eyes. Whatever. I don't have time to be talking to you. Unless you're going to pay me by the hour like your mom is to show up to your next party. <laughs> what a loser. What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about? Look it up on TikTok. Hey, Alex, you know Georgie's mom is paying people to be his friend? <laughs> what a loser, right? Right? But the saddest thing of all is that no one has ever come to his birthday party. Not once. And this year, he was all excited, and he really thought that the kids were all going to come. It was Spider-Man themed, which is his favorite, but no one came. So he spent most of his birthday crying alone in his room. So, I am offering $80 cash for two hours for a kid to come and be his friend and celebrate with him another birthday party that I'm throwing for him. Come on in. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Why aren't you talking to me? I don't want to go inside. Why not? I know you are paying someone to be my friend. Uh, sweetheart, I... I want real friends. Georgie, there are so many people who want to be your friend if they just got to know you. People just don't realize how kind and sweet and fun you are. Plus smart. But I know. Listen, I did not pay anyone to come to your party. Okay? So you have nothing to worry about. You promise? I promise. Can you come inside? Surprise! You lied to me. What? No, I didn't. I didn't lie. Now how come they come to my party? Because we wanted to be here. Sammy? Hey, Georgie. See? You have no idea how many people reached out to me after I posted that video. Wanting to be your friend and come celebrate your birthday with you. And not a single person here would accept payment. Anyone else who contacted me, I turned away because I figured it'd be better to have your real friends here. I wanted to come last Saturday, but I had soccer practice. I would have come if I could. I was at my grandma's, so I couldn't make it. But we're all here now. So, what do you say? Will you join us, Spider-Man? But I have to warn you, with great power comes great responsibility. Are you sure you're ready to take this? Are you supposed to be at Gilly's party? I was going to go, but I decided I'd rather be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah me, too. me too. Same. <laughs> I wonder who was going to his party. I don't get it. Where is everybody? I, I don't know. Should I cut the cake and I'll sing happy birthday to you? Oh, I hate 
Hey, Georgie, is it okay if one more person joins your party? You were at your own party. Well, I was, but no one showed up, and I kind of got kicked out of the arcade. So I thought maybe it'd be cool if I came here instead. Never mind. I didn't mean to interrupt. You could come and set one condition. What's that? You admit that Spider-Man can't beat up Godzilla. All right, fine. Spider-Man's pretty cool, too. I'm proud of you, Georgie. And I am so sorry about the video. It's okay. I know you're trying to help me. Thanks, honey. Now, is this an awesome party or what? Way better than your last ones. Actually, my birthday, my last birthday was pretty awesome too. Really? I mean, I was the only one there. And now look at all these people. I know sometimes the only thing you need is the person who's always been there by your side all along. Go have fun. <laughs> This boy had no friends before his mother's heartbreaking post. Kindergarten through senior year, he never had one single sleepover. Never had one single guy come over and play games. Donna Herder posted on Facebook that she will pay $80 every two hours to a young man who can spend two hours with her son Christian, who is living with Down syndrome. But she didn't expect how many people volunteered to be friends with Christian without any payment. Some kids are asking for his gamer tag to play virtually, while others are sending him handwritten letters. Even Marines invited him to play bowling with them. Hello Christian, we all cannot wait to meet you. The St. Louis nonprofit shared Christian's story, which helped them to raise money to gift Bowers a new TV. <laughs> oh my gosh! People now starting to see, you know, a lot of these kids with special needs, they need somebody in their life. I mean, just like we do, no different. Baby, the hospital. I want, I want we did it. We did it. <laughs> We're gonna be parents, Rose. Oh, my parents are so excited about this. Hey, do you wanna call anybody from your family? No, I don't care about them. I just wanna hold my baby. Do you see how the pupils aren't constricting? Is something wrong? Uh, we're not sure yet. Your baby seems totally healthy, but we're just going to run a few tests on the vision because we're a little concerned. The pupils aren't reacting well to the light. Well, I, I don't understand. The doctor just said before I went into labor that we had nothing to worry about. Well, not all issues can be detected early on, not with 100% confidence anyway, including blindness. But let's not get worried or ahead of ourselves. We don't know if anything's wrong for sure. And other than that, everything looks great. How can you tell me not to worry when you just said my daughter is going to be blind? How would something like that even have happened? Well, there are lots of possibilities. Um, infection or vitamin deficiency, birth injury, genetics. Genetics? This is all your fault. My fault? I don't have any blindness that runs in my family. I... Please try not to panic. Do you want to hold your baby before we run the tests? Well, we'll talk about this after we get results. We'll be back as soon as we can, yeah? Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Honey, let's not point the fingers. Besides, if they find something, we're still going to love our baby. Right? How are we? Oh, so good. <laughs> She's perfect. Good job, Mama. Oh, my sweet, sweet girl. I love you so, so much. 
It doesn't seem like she's completely blind, but in time, it will get there. Ugh. I really don't want to be the one who has to tell Mrs. Anderson any bad news. Well, we'll do a couple of checks and then we can talk to her. Oh, shoot. I forgot my badge. Can you tell her, though, if it turns out the baby is blind? That's my healthy baby. Oh, my healthy, perfect baby. My precious Olivia. Are you ready? Wait. Let me just put this on her so we always stay connected. Here we go. Hi, little girl. I'll be right back with her. I'm sorry, ma'am. Only hospital personnel pass this point. Oh, of course. Oh, nurse? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Paging, thank you. Thank you. We'll finish up when you get... Oh, uh, sorry. I uh, was just tying my shoe. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Uh, I need to take this baby in for more testing, and I can't find where to go. Oh. Uh, is that the Anderson baby? Let me check the wristband. Yes. Are you their nurse? Uh, yes. Actually, I am. I I'd be happy to take her for you. Great. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need you to keep an eye on her for me, please. Okay. Fresh air. I couldn't handle all the stress. But you know what? I think it really helped. Addition with vision, strain test, and it did seem like your daughter had some issues with her vision. Strangely enough, we ran some more tests, and she passed with flying colors, so there doesn't seem to be anything wrong. My gosh, this is great news. I'll bring it on her when she's slow. Oh, I almost forgot her necklace. Please don't keep it on her when she's sleeping. It's a choking hazard. Okay. How did she get this? Oh, uh, I got it. When I was out just now, at a little concession stand. Okay. Uh, Olivia. You named her Olivia? Uh, yeah. I, I thought that would be the perfect name for her. Yeah. It's only half of a heart. Where's the other half? Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I will. I, I'll just get it online <laughs> so we can match. I'm so glad she's okay. Can I put lipstick on you? No, sweetheart. Grandpa does not want any lipstick on <clears throat> Yeah, that would be fine. Tell her from Rose's mom or dad? From what I hear fast. Does she get her eye color from Rose's mom or dad? From what I hear from her relatives, neither. I mean, her dad, as you know, passed away a long time ago to have a relationship at all. Rose's family? Uh, no, it's a couple of cousins and aunts and uncles. Here they are. Hmm. Well, doesn't look like Olivia gets her features from Rose's side of the family. I don't think I have anyone with light hair or eyes on my side. Do you, Patrick? No, I I can't think of anyone on my side either. Grandpa, stop talking. Oh, sorry, Princess. That's odd. Are you sure she's yours? You should take a paternity test. Maybe she's the mailman's daughter. Come on, Mom. Why would you say something like that? I'm only joking. It is strange, though. I always felt there was something a little off about Rose. No. This is ridiculous, Marcus. You're the father, and it breaks my heart that you don't trust me. I do trust you, but none of this makes any sense. What? What does it make sense? She's our child, she always has been. And I can't believe you'd think anything else. Thanks a lot for ruining my night. All right, so what are we thinking? Chocolate, strawberry. Strawberry! Strawberry. That's it. 
Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like it's the last one. Oh, no, take it. No, it's fine. Really? Yeah. Thank you. It's actually for my daughter's birthday tomorrow. She's turning 11. I can't believe how fast time flies. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. That's, that's weird because it's actually my daughter's birthday as well tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, uh, where is she? Uh, yeah, mine is always running off with her grandma. <laughs> hey, Olivia. Olivia. Whoa. Your daughter's name is Olivia, too? <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> same name, same birthday. Wow, were you going to tell me next that she was born at John, John Green, Green Hospital? Hospital? Daddy, Daddy, can I get this, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Just give me one second, okay? Okay. All right. Um, By any chance, is your... Daughter. Uh, there she is. Hi, honey. Oh. Mommy, can I get frozen yogurt? Do you think we could take her? Let's go, dear. Um. <laughs> um. This is gonna sound a little weird, but I was, um. Does your husband have like dark hair, dark eyes, or? Um. Ex-husband, actually, and no, no, he has lighter features like mine. I don't know where she gets it from, to be honest with you. I'm sorry for, for asking so many questions, but uh, has has she always been blind? Yeah, um, it wasn't 100 percent at first, but it's degenerative. Yeah, I don't know. The weird thing is, when she was first born, all the nurses said she was completely healthy in every way, but once I took her home, that's when it all changed. I don't know, it's almost as if... Oh my gosh. Your pennant. Uh, hi. Was everything all right? You know, the strangest thing happened at the grocery store today. I bumped into a woman who looked exactly like our daughter. Okay, so? It wasn't a big deal until I met her daughter who looked exactly like me. I don't know where you're going with this. Tons of kids have dark hair and dark eyes or don't look like their parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's more. Her daughter, whose name is Olivia, was born the same exact day at the same exact hospital. Plus, she's blind. Just like the nurse initially thought our Olivia was going to be. Is there a point to this story? Because I'm tired and I want to relax. Oh yeah, I'm getting there. But the next part, it's really bizarre. You know that heart pennant that our Olivia has? The one that you said you were going to get the other half, but then they stopped manufacturing it? Yeah. So this woman has the same exact heart pendant. But she said it got lost at the hospital. So, is there something that you want to tell me, Rose? About what? Oh, I don't know. About... What happened that day in the hospital? Something that you did? You know what? This is ridiculous. I am so sick and tired of your constant accusations all the time. Olivia is our daughter. You are her father. Is that right? You remember the paternity test that you threw out in the garbage? Well, I took it. And it turns out I'm not the father. So one of the two things is the truth. Either you cheated on me, or you just- I switched the babies, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? But it doesn't even matter now. Olivia's our girl, we raised her, and nothing's gonna change. Are you insane, Rose? You took that girl away from her real mother. Well, it wasn't fair. Why did we have to get stuck with a- No, don't you even try that. Don't you even try that, because we would have loved her. No, I wouldn't have. Because I've already been through something like this, and I was not going to do it again. You see, the reason I don't ever talk about my mom is because, well, she's blind. 
Growing up, while other kids got to play outdoors and have fun all day, I had to stay at home and help around the house. It drove me crazy. As I got older, the struggle never ended. There was hardly any money for anything I wanted to do. And I couldn't go anywhere because I always had to help with random things. I hated it. So the moment I turned 18, I left the house and never looked back. So you see, I know what it's like living with a disabled family member. And I was not going to go through that again with our daughter. I can't believe that you treated your mother like that. Oh, daughter. And even if you didn't want to be with her or love her, I would have. Because we agreed on something, at least I thought we did, that every child needs unconditional love. Yeah, that sounds great, Marcus, but you have no idea how difficult it is. Seeing your daughter fall behind in school, never being able to play sports, never having any friends, I was not going to deal with that burden. Burden? Who was that? I'm sorry, Rose, but you took this way too far. And I am not gonna let you get away with it. What did you do? There's so much that I would like to say to you. But what I want you to know the most that raising Olivia has never been a burden. It's been a blessing. And I have loved every second of it. And contrary to what you said, she is great in school. She's the top player in her test league. And she has so so many friends who love her. And she has certainly most never been a burden. I feel sorry for your mother. That she had a daughter like you because that is never the way that I would treat a loved one. You told her? What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what's going to happen now? She's not the only one I told. Ma'am, you're under arrest for personality, a medical professional, and kidnapping. No, 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 you guys have this all wrong. It's too late, we heard everything. Oh, no, let go of me! Come with us. Marcus, how would you do this? You have the right to remain silent. This is all your fault! Anything you say can't be the against the court of law. You guys can come out now. Pamela. I know that this is not going to undo 11 years. I'm so sorry that we took something from you that you can never have back, like raising your daughter. Olivia is my daughter. But so is... Daddy, what's happening? And where did Mommy go? Mommy is going to be gone for a while. Okay, and I'll explain everything to you later. I know this is hard to take, but Pamela is your mom. She's your biological mother. Hi, sweetie. Um, I know that this must be a lot to take in, but look. They connect? Listen, now that I know, I, I would love to be part of her life, but I completely understand if, if you don't. No. Are you kidding? Of course I want to be. Hi, Livia. Um, so nice to meet you again. I held you when you were first born. My name's Marcus, and... Uh, I'm your dad. He, you are? Does that mean the other Olivia's my sister? Yay, I've always wanted a sister. <laughs> dad, 
Daddy, did I tell you got an A on my English test today? Oh, you did? Well, I gotta tell you, I'm not surprised. Why are we here again? Oh, there's someone here that I think that you would love to meet. Can I help you? Hi, uh, you must be Rose's mom. I'm Marcus, uh, her ex-husband. Okay. Uh, I figured that you'd like to meet your granddaughters. It's their birthday. Oh my goodness, I have granddaughters? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing them to me. You can't imagine how much this means to me. Is, is my daughter here as well? Uh, that's a long story. If you let us in, I have a lot to tell you. That sounds great to me. Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm on in. Mm-hmm.